This is a Siku 0805 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter Ambulance die-cast model. The Mercedes-Benz Sprinter is a light commercial vehicle, van, built by Daimler AG of Stuttgart, Germany as a large van, chassis cab, minibus, and pickup truck. In the past the Sprinter has been sold under the Mercedes-Benz, Dodge, Freightliner, and Volkswagen nameplates. In the US it is built from complete knockdown, CKD kits by Freightliner. They are now primarily marketed by Mercedes-Benz. Rebadged and re-engined Sprinters were also sold by Volkswagen commercial vehicles, as the Volkswagen LT and the Volkswagen Crafter. Third Generation, 2019 Present The third generation Sprinter debuted on February 6, 2018 at the Mercedes-Benz Logistics Center in Duisburg and was available to purchase from June 2018. It is the first generation to include a front-wheel drive van in the lineup. A range of technology and comfort features are standard or optional. The Freightliner version is being discontinued after the 2021 model year. The Sprinter is designed primarily for business, not private users, although recreational vehicle RV, conversions are available. In the United States, the first-generation Sprinters, 2001 to 2006, were offered solely with the Mercedes-Benz 2.7-liter straight five-cylinder turbocharged diesel. Companies are replacing van conversions with wide-bus body sprinters with side-facing benches and tall right-side doors as campus shuttles. Limited numbers of complete wagons, passenger vans, are being produced in Germany and shipped complete to the United States mostly for personal and church van uses. Typical Sprinter wagons accommodate 8 to 10 passengers and have glass in all possible factory positions. Vans shipped to the United States on spec, speculation to sell by dealer slash distributor, are mostly sent in Arctic white color, but many colors are available. The Dodge dealer network for Sprinters is limited to certified locations, known as Business Link Certified Dealers, usually only awarded to five-star certified dealers, and dealer knowledge is still limited in both sales and service. Special orders typically take one to three months for delivery, and may take even longer due to the assembly and disassembly in Germany, and exporting parts to South Carolina for reassembly. The exception is passenger van models which are assembled in Germany and exported as complete vehicles. This is because of the United States chicken tax. As an unintended consequence, several importers of light trucks have circumvented the tariff via loopholes, known as tariff engineering. Ford, ostensibly a company that the tax was designed to protect, imported its first-generation Transit Connect light trucks as passenger vehicles to the U.S. from Turkey and immediately stripped and shredded portions of their interiors, example, installed rear seats, seat belts, in a warehouse outside Baltimore. To import vans built in Germany, Mercedes disassembled them and shipped the pieces to South Carolina, where American workers put them back together in a small kit assembly building. The resulting vehicles emerge as locally manufactured, free from the tariff. In North America, most Sprinters are sold as cargo vans to expediters in the United States. Such expediters are similar to truck drivers, except they take smaller loads, and will wait after unloading until dispatchers find another customer nearby to transport goods. The advent of the Sprinter van with its cargo space of 13 and a half feet, 4.1 m, has allowed van expediters to take 348x48 in. 1.22x 1.22m skids or pallets, where previously they were limited to a capacity of two pallets. A Sprinter is capable of hauling approximately 3,000 pounds 1,400 kilograms of cargo. The vehicle has been adopted by the police in Hong Kong, United Kingdom and in Poland, also and as an ambulance by countries in Western Europe, Scandinavia, the US, Australia and New Zealand. The 515 CDI has become the standard ambulance for use by the National Health Service NHS, in the United Kingdom, and the Health Service Executive HSE, in the Republic of Ireland. Another market in which sprinters are gaining ground is as van conversions and recreational vehicles. Conversions include RVs, limousines, family and luxury vans, office vans, wheelchair-accessible vans and golf vans. 
Sprinter RV conversions can also be called Sprinter camper vans. Sprinter conversions have been produced by several RV and coach manufacturers. Chilled box versions of the Sprinter currently make up the majority of the supermarket home delivery fleet across the UK, but demand for these vans has begun to decline. ASDA recently announced that its new fleet would be primarily custom Iveco vans, following in the footsteps of Tesco. Mercedes are currently working with Waitrose Home Delivery, who currently use chilled LWBHR Sprinters, on a prototype of a new generation home delivery van, which is currently being used in select stores, aiming to cut emissions, costs and increase time efficiency. Sprinters have been used globally as television production vehicles, most commonly as ENG, electronic news gathering, and SNG, satellite news gathering, vehicles. These are a popular choice for local affiliates for their maneuverability in metropolitan areas and the lack of DOT regulations in the under £10,000 versions. Despite not being marketed as a family vehicle, a custom-modified Dodge-branded Sprinter was used by the 10-member Gosland family, the subjects of the TLC reality series John and Kate Plus 8. In Colombia the Sprinter is the most popular van for intercity transport, the purchase of a luxuriously appointed sprinter by the son of former President Julio Cesar Tabi, Julio Cesar Tabi, Jr. prompted a scandal. A Mercedes Sprinter was the vehicle used by Mike and Frank on the History Channel reality series American Pickers until season 6, when it was replaced by a Ford Transit. The van is also used as a mobile command center by the Garda Sayakana, which is the national police force of the Republic of Ireland. A chassis of the Sprinter is also expected to be used for the upcoming Astrovan 2, which will be made by Airstream to transport Boeing commercial crew astronauts to Cape Canaveral Space Launch Complex 41, where they would board the CST-100 Starliner on their way to the International Space Station. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and like our Facebook page.